So we're just walking into the Western Garden and you've got plots six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Plot six is an A3 house type, which is a three bedroom. And the two here, plots seven and eight, are A2s, which are two bedroom houses. Plot nine is an A4, and that's another three bedroom house. Slightly house. bigger unit. Yeah, it is slightly bigger footprint. And then as we come round to more well positioned plots, which are the B1s, you've got plots 10 with a nice um, listed wall garden, plot 11, plot 12. And if we come up to stand in one of the footprints, you can get their visual aspect of the plots. Unsport views across um, Houghton Grange Meadow there and leading on to the thicket over to the set uh, to the, set, the southwest isn't it yeah 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 so you've got ample garden space so these will be nice um landscape gardens the houses are well spaced out i mean the gaps between the houses are you know are big so there's I mean, a lot of big, room these are big units aren't they when yeah. you're standing in them now yeah. so we've got a four bed four bed and a five bed variant which is plot 10. plot 10's got five beds it's, a, it's got a bit more of a bigger garden but it's also got the wall gives it a night and this this these three houses are actually protected from with that wall from having a some you know sometimes a fierce northern wind northerly wind so it just gives it a nice shelter and then like i say you've got all of that visual aspect across the meadow there so we're coming down towards the end of the main estate drive the new Eastern Garden Drive is now sort of uh, prepped. So these trees are sort of set back out of the way, but they sort of come into effectively the first <coughs> plot here, which is um, plot 13, which is a large detached C type. Um, and then the width of the plot is you can probably see what these are sort of the, the piles for the foundation. So they start from this far corner here. So that's the edge of the house here. So your garage finishes to about here. And your garage Love is this that. width. So this is the width of the house. So that's that plot. And the garden's all set into there. So it's substantial. So as you go coming past the C plots, which are 13 and 14, you're going up towards the, the back end of the Eastern Garden. But if you look over to your right, this is where, where we've started manicuring the grounds, lifting the crowns of the trees, just to get better aspects across the whole of the site. And it really is bringing all of these trees in their own individual, individuality. And we'll be doing the same with the trees in this side, keeping all the grounds very well kept and maintained. So plot, uh, there's another C1 house type, which is plot 19, and it's got a, it's got a visual aspect with um, the rear of the house that we'll be looking over St Ives Town Centre. And then as you come down to the final part of the development here, you've got what we've got and have re replicated from the Western Garden, is again three of the B1 house types, plot 16, 17 and 18. 18 being a five bed variant. And again, the same analogy as plot 10 in the Western Garden. It's just because it sits in a, just a, a little bit more of a sweet spot. You can get panoramic views over St Ives, you can see from, um, from the first floor. So when you move here and you're living on site, you can, you know, there's various walks, especially coming down to the thicket. Uh, the nicest part is coming past the, the old manor house. Uh, and then you walk into the grounds, uncovered some historic paths. 
and uh, which we're leading to one now. So, going, talking about these paths again, as discussed earlier in the week, we've put strategically placed um, key coded gates which lead down to the thicket path, um, which runs all the way into St Ives or Houghton and Whitton, um, and, and especially down to the river. Um, you've got all of this natural area to walk through from certain points from each of the developments so you can get in and these paths all intersect and go and lead down to the ticket path. So this is all still part of the grounds of the house. You know, there's a you know, particularly attractive monkey puzzle crew. All this is going to be uh, landscaped and cleared and um, to make it look as you know as nice as it can. So and all the still a bit just got the luxury of being able to walk around the ground as well. So nothing's going to be um, you know it's not going to be isolated like the Eastern Garden, the Manor House and the Western Garden, everyone who's within these perimeter can access all of the grounds.